Can you hear me without the mic? Yeah. Or is it better with the mic? Uh, how about, uh, I'll go like this if we can't hear you at some point. Okay, alright, sounds good. I'll, I'll leave it right here. <laughs> okay, if you want to mingle, by the way, it's hot up here. If you want to mingle and look at the arts, again, Keisha and Emily's photography, they're, um, they're exhibited on the wall as you walk in. Our students' mural that our, that our students did from our junior high school in the Bronx is on the left as you walk in. There's a haunted house section in the back. No making out. No, making out. I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. Help me out here, man. Help me out. <laughs> just making up. No making out. Just making up. Haunted house section in the back. I'm a spoken word artist. Woo. This piece is dedicated to Sean Bell. Here we go again. Mimicking self actualized modern day reactionary revolutionary toy soldiers are paper guns loaded, running with those paper guns loaded with acid free recycled pretty decoupage bullets, heading eagle first into an imaginary battlefield program to holograph the killing field. Yet here we go again. All the while we be heeding the battle call from some permed up mofo standing with a megaphone eating fried chicken and collecting points for every Jesse Jacksonian rhyme scheme he can conjure. Here we go again. Meanwhile, black at plantation headquarters, mainstream madness press watches us, wide tooth grin and all as we mockerize our belly of the beast ancestral revolutionaries with our ghost dance. And all in, name of, all in the name of helping themselves some lead, so extra, extra, read all about it, because here we go again. So for whom does the bell toll? I missed you yesterday, she said. Did you make it out? I missed you too, sister. I missed you in 2006 at the Bell Massacre. Missed you later on that year when greasy palms turned backroom deal door handles into peepholes for the massacre police. And I missed you, brother, in early 08 when veracity of content was a high-pitched, forked, tongue-squealing laughter at every drop of Guzman's blood as they chained their prize witness to the bed, praying on his last breath. But here we go again. Missed you again months ago when meticulously scheduled media lynchings became the sticky glue to undo that constitutional stand-up act they call innocent until proven guilty, more like guilty but will prove you innocent, pay you free, and now I miss you more than ever but never as much as I ever will because there are no words, no hand gestures, no colors to adequately describe to you how lonely I am in these killing fields. But here, we go again. For we knew this would happen. We know who we are, who we be in their reality, and how complacently we blind we remain in ours. So no, I didn't make it out, nor did I load my paper gun. In fact, I burned those pretty decoupage recycled acid-free bullets. This reality shows the bell tolls for a beastly vampiric breed, and paper just ain't gonna it so no I did not make it out instead I traded my minstrel jig in for a moment of dignity I stayed home and was silent yes brother silence let silence scream their truths into a billion pieces of just desserts silence at the gas pumps silence at the cotton gin silence on the hill Sli silence from plantations to reservations to package stores silence at the remilitarized post benign neglected institutionalized holding cells we send our children into every day and have the nerve to call them institutions of higher learning silence a million moments of silence for every bullet that stole a breath of blackness Silence for the 50 that screamed Sean into the ash. The 27 that rendered Joanne Mickens a childless mother. The one in the back that stole Laquan from 16. The 40 that silenced Diallo. The one that screamed flying eagle woman into silence. A trillion dollar silence for all the victims of these self-righteous, hatred-loving, manifest destiny, black, thirsty, vampire silence. 
for Malcolm Ferguson, Anthony Rosario, Hilton Vega, Nicholas Hayward Jr., Taisha Miller, Franklin Reed, Tamir Percy, Corey Mickens, Fermo Arzu, Lisa Claudio, and 16-year-old Ryan Nunez, who was attacked by NYPD while eating at McDonald's exactly one year after Sean Bell was executed. Their soundtrack must have been Happy Anniversary, baby! Got you on our minds! Yeah, 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 yeah. Because what we have to say simply can't be said. Silence. Bring the beast to its knees with silence, then whisper the words of truth into the mouths of our youth, and let them lead the chickens home to roost. 